Hello students, welcome to the science class. Today we will start a new chapter. The chapter is about our teeth and in this chapter you will learn about the structure types, all that is concerned with the teeth. Okay, so teeth is one of the most important body parts of our face of of our body of uh, ourselves without teeth we won't be able to uh, i mean we cannot imagine the human body without teeth so it definitely plays an important role in our daily life so uh, what is the main function of the teeth it plays an important role not only by helping you to eat but also it helps us to look good it helps the face to look good that is why the teeth is so very important now babies of the human are born without teeth okay so when they are um, live on the and so uh, they don't have a teeth so as a result of which about for six months they only uh, survive on liquids or then gradually the teeth starts appearing and by the age of uh, say uh, three years the children uh, i mean the babies generally have 20 teeth so these teeth are known as the primary teeth why they are known as the primary teeth or temporary teeth because this teeth structure that does not remain forever or throughout their life so they are known as the primary or temporary that means for this for the some time for time being and when a child gets to age five or six these permanent teeth uh, I mean uh, primary or temporary teeth they starts falling one by one this is a very peculiar scenario everybody must have gone through it that our teeth started falling one by one and then this is a very miraculous thing very this is a very interesting thing that happened so at the age of by the age of five to six the teeth started falling okay now <clears throat> teeth are falling that means the mouth cavity does not remain empty so the teeth is replaced by another set of teeth which is known as the permanent teeth so beforehand this was known as the temporary teeth or they had an, another name that is uh, primary teeth and this is known as the permanent teeth which is about to come between the 10 to 12 years at the age of 10 to 12 years of age you can see the picture both the temporary teeth as well as the permanent teeth the temporary teeth are generally 20 in number whereas permanent teeth are uh, 32 in number now by the uh, by about the age of 12 to 13 years most of the children have lost all their baby teeth and full set of permanent teeth are have started appeared i mean have sta have uh, appeared in their mouth because uh, most of the cases obviously there is an uh, one two years of exp exception of <clears throat> but most of the cases by age of 12 to 13 all the baby teeth or primary teeth or temporary teeth have fallen and in place of those teeth the permanent teeth has appeared and this teeth is going to stay in the long run in the whole life okay so they are known as the permanent teeth that means permanently they are going to stay okay so now uh, there are uh, in uh, we had studied for adults there are 32 uh, 32 uh, numbers of teeth then how come the 32 because there are 28 permanent teeth and four are the uh, between the age of 17 and 21 they have a wisdom teeth they are actually growing at the back of the mouth and so 28 plus 4 total adult teeth is about 32 okay 
now we will learn about the parts of tooth so parts of tooth you had seen there are blood vessels also enamels also pulp also many structures which we will discuss just now okay so we are discussing the parts of a tooth first one is the crown so what is the crown the part which can be visible which we can see which is not embedded in the gum this is known as the crown of the tooth okay next after crown there is enamel of the teeth now the tooth enamel actually protects the teeth but they are very hard and also they give that white appearance shiny appearance of the tooth okay next coming into the dentine dentine is actually um, below the enamel the layer of the dentine present it makes up the largest part of the teeth and also it is not very tough as enamel but it is also very tough so this layer is called as the dentine and within that dentine the enamel protects innermost uh, protects innermost part of the tooth this is known as the pulp so when um, so pulp is actually you can see here the cavity formation occurs what is cavity and actually it is the tooth decay that is when one has hot soup or cold ice cream or the tooth are falling or hurting or getting a cavity it is the pulp that hurts it is the pulp portion and so the nerve ending also are present inside the pulp they are sending the messages to the brain okay and because pulp also contains tooth's blood vessels which also help to keep it alive and healthy now exactly by which way the cavity has been formed you will get to know in the later part of as you grow in the as you grow towards higher classes to the most higher classes okay so i think up to this you had learned that is there are four main structures of the tooth crown enamel dentine and pulp crown is the outermost part which is visible enamel is below crown and it gives the white shiny appearance and it protects because it is the hardest part enamels below enamel is the dentine this part is not as hard as enamel but it is also tough and the innermost part is the pulp portion of the teeth it generally contains it uh, allows to form the cavity the nerve endings are present here which goes and which sends the signal up to the brain and also it contains blood vessels so i think i myself had made it very clear next class we will start with the types of tooth in between that if you, ha you have any problem after watching the video do discuss in the next class okay so till then all of you stay safe take care thank you